friends here i will be talking about python shell see we already know that python is an interpreter language that means it executes the code line by line see suppose i have a simple example with the three print functions now let me save it and run it see the output you are getting three lines of output because you have three print functions that's fine now while executing your program or script or code using your python interpreter your python will read line by line and it will execute that line so at first it go to first line if everything is okay with the first line then only it will execute that and then it's go to second line and again in second line also it verifies syntax and it will try to execute that after that it will go to third line see suppose if i write something invalid in the second line see what will happen so before second line this random string you got your output for three lines now let me run it and observe the output you are getting output for first print function but you are not getting output for remaining print functions even though they are valid but before these two lines we have one invalid syntax here so python is going to read and execute line by line that's why while executing second line it got some invalid syntax that's why it is stopping there itself and it will stop complete program that's it that's fine so here not only python actually any language which is developed with interpreter concept provides a shell so here python also provides a shell and that is also called as interactive shell so simply this shell is useful to execute your line by line in the python shell so first let me show you how to open that so that you can understand see if you want to open python shell simply open on your windows operating system your command line or on your linux just open your terminal and then type your python suppose on windows just type python but on your linux operating systems you can type python if you are having python 2 version and again if you have python 3 and multiple versions then you have to select particular python interpreter name now first let me open windows command line so that we can enter into python shell on your windows operating system so simply type python and then enter now we are on python shell this is python shell and this is the python version for that that's fine now let me write one print function not only print function you can write any logic line by line here print hello i am python shell then enter see that immediately you are able to see the output for your syntax now suppose if i write x equals to 5 you won't get any output because you are not printing simply you are assigning value 5 to x but if you want to print the value of x just use print print x that's it okay now let me open my ubuntu terminal so that we can enter into python shell on your ubuntu linux operating system now see this is my ubuntu operating system actually we installed this using wsl windows subsystem for linux concept that means we installed ubuntu linux operating system as an application on windows operating system that's fine now simply i am typing python and then enter see there is no python on my ubuntu operating system because this is latest ubuntu version so here we have only python 3 so see that python 3 enter we enter into python 3.8.2 shell but we need python 3.8.6 so for that on my operating system we installed python with python 3.8 now see the result now we are on python 3.8.6 shell now here also you can practice right so this shell is on ubuntu os that's it now let me define some variables let's say x equals to 5 y equals to 8 something then you can print those variable values using that's it so be clear python shell is useful to execute your lines line by line immediately that's it okay so guys if you are okay with python shell then only use it otherwise always use your editor to write and execute your code okay Okay guys thank you for watching this video